it's Amy K, and welcome back to Sim by Design with another Sims 4 speed build. This one is a bit of a long one. It's a two-parter, as you can probably tell in the title. Um, like I said last week, I have this part right here, and then I will do part two in two weeks from today. Um, after I do a um, restaurant build with the new Dine Out stuff pack that comes out this or next week comes out next week. But, um, anyways, this one is kind of inspired by the houses in San Francisco, the Painted Ladies, as they're called, um, or more importantly, the, uh, Full House house, or the house from Full House, I guess you could say. Um, I had started building or working on this idea when the Fuller House series started or like was about to start I think I wanted to upload it like have it finished and uploaded the week that Fuller House um premiered um but it did not work out that way um this house took me I want to say like three months it's been three months in the making um trying to build this house because I started it and I was like super happy with what I was doing and then I got done with the kitchen I'm like I really hate the way everything looks so I just kind of quit um, and I didn't do it for probably like I don't know a month month and a half then I picked it back up and I've been slowly working on it for the past um, two weeks I guess uh, I I'm actually pretty proud of the way it turned out. Um, it is a very, it's a very split level house. It's, I don't, I don't think I've personally ever seen anything like it, but, um, I don't remember what I was going to say there. If you hear any weird noises in the background, my fan is on like full blast and my chair is really squeaky today for some reason. So whenever I move, my chair like makes this really weird farting noise. And so if you hear that, it's my chair. But, yeah. So I'm just doing the kind of like slits, split level uh, basement room. It's split up into like three kind of sections. The basement is the kind of like bedrooms slash like play area for kids. Um, I did three rooms down there plus a bathroom. And then like the main area is a playroom. Um, then the, like, kind of the, I guess the first floor is, um, the living space. So in the split level part, the part that's like inside the foundation is a small, small living room. Um, and then there's a open plan kitchen and dining room and a kind of powder room. And then the top floor is the master suite. Like the entire top floor is a master suite. There is a bathroom, a lounge room, plus um, just in the sweet part, um, plus the main bedroom, and then outside the bedroom, like, in the landing when you come up, it's another kind of sitting room with a TV. There's also a study in the bedroom, plus they have their own private balcony with, which I love, like, I'm obsessed with the balcony. You'll, I think you'll see it at the end, uh, towards the end of this build is where I cut it off, was when I started doing the balcony. But it's, I think it's personally super cool. Um, but, yeah. I spent a lot of time trying to decide kind of the color scheme of woods in this house. For some reason, it was, like, super, super important for me to have, like, specific wood color schemes. Um, so, at first, I went with, like, an all blue and white. Um, even the stairs. But then I decided I kind of wanted a brick... Um, foundation so I changed the stairs to brick and I kept the white wood and then I did brown on like all the inside except for in the master suite is white wood um but yeah and I kind of like those little sconces I did um a blue and white exterior as you can tell and then I have those like I guess they're called sconces above at least the master deck um because the like 
fencing, or not fencing, like, border I put around the middle between the first and the second floor is, like, super thick. You don't really see it on the front and back porches, but let's see. I'm on the kitchen now, which I spend probably the rest of this build pretty much doing the kitchen, or actually, the, not the rest of the build. I apologize. Mo the most of the rest of the video, because I think as once I finished the kitchen um, is when I had stopped for like a couple months and I came back and I'm like, I'll redo the kitchen. But as I started looking at it again, I'm like, oh, I don't mind it. It's not that bad. So I keep it. And I did at first a like hodgepodge of uh, different wallpapers. Um, there's like a gray brick in the kitchen and then it goes into a pink in the dining room and a br like red brick in the living room to kind of coincide with the um, foundation color because if you change it on the inside it changes on the outside and it looks weird but right now I'm doing the downstairs colors the pink room ends up being a nursery slash little girl's room like a toddler girl um, and then the blue room ends up being like a boy child well I guess I don't know why I said toddler because there it goes from baby to kid everybody wants toddlers <laughs> I don't personally care because you know everyone knows I don't really play that much but toddler like building a toddler's room like I focused building that room more for a toddler and it was so much fun but anyways um then I did the blue room as a boy kids and then there's another room that I did for a like teen girl and I'll explain those in the next part when I get to them. But I really like those tables I did in the dining room under the windows between those two like tall cabinets. I did like these little stools underneath which I thought would be really cool as like you have a lot of guests over and you don't have enough spaces at the table so you just pull them up there. Um, and I, right now I'm getting kind of out of breath just because I'm talking so much and there's still like half of this like seven minutes left of this video. And I'm going to record the commentary for my next one, which is like 20 minutes long. But besides that, if I get out of breath, that's why. I'm super out of shape and possibly may not talk the entire time. Um, I may like cut it off and do a little music at the end if it gets to that point. But as I was saying, um, I really, really, really love those hanging lights from movie stuff like I wish that they were like you could change the size of them like the height of the walls which speaking of changing the heights of the walls I had a super great idea for a house the other day but it would only work if I could change the heights of different rooms so like I could have one room the tallest type wall and then the rest of the rooms the medium or smaller regular size height I think it would look, it would just, I had this great idea and I can't do it because I can't have different heights. But I guess that's something that developers, there's a problem with that. I also would really love curved stairs or L-shaped stairs or something like that. Um, there's a lot of things that everybody wants in The Sims and some of them we're not going to get, which is understandable. It's tough. But I guess you get you get what you get. It's still an amazing game at the end of the day. But anyways, that I uh, now I'm picking up where I kind of stopped for three months. I decided it'd be kind of a cool idea to put a backyard fence in. Um, I got the idea from the full house or the fuller house, which. I'm not going to talk about that. I it, it I'm a little iffy with it, and it's an unpopular opinion for most people that I know. But anyways, um, yeah, I forget what I was going with that. But they have like this cool backyard, and they really played it up and used it a lot in the Fuller House, and I really enjoyed that. So I thought. I should, there's enough space to have like at least a little backyard, so I added one in there. And 
you'll see at the end of the next one, which I went all out in landscaping. Everyone should be proud of me how much I actually did landscaping this time. And I'm really starting to enjoy it. Which, by the way, I finally got the Romantic Garden stuff pack. So I will be doing some super fun gardens in the future in my houses. I may do kind of a cool... Um, I don't even know what style it would be. Um, but, anyways... Here I am changing up the wood again. I went from the brown to a black wood. And I think I changed most of the doors. Because I like that contrast with the white kitchen and the red. And then have the black or dark, dark wood on the stairs and the door. But, yeah. I thought I, would, I, thought I ended up doing more to the kitchen, but I don't think I did. Maybe not. But I had a lot of fun with this house. It's probably the most fun I've had, but it's been the most, it was the most stressful house for me because I just kept getting so annoyed with trying to just get everything furnished because we all know how much I hate furnishing. <laughs> um, I, I love furnishing. I love doing anything with The Sims. It's just furnishing is so hard when there's not very much to choose from and I won't go into that rant again because everyone goes into that rant about furnishing and swatches and all that fun stuff. Um, one thing I do have a qualm with is when you're putting something really close to a foundation, it just kind of pops up on the end. That happened so much when I was um, doing the um, garden outside, like out the front. Like, every time I would move a specific bush up, like, super close, you'll see in the next video, next, or in two weeks, that the bush just kept popping up, and it would not, I couldn't get it close enough in this one specific spot. But I think I fixed it pretty good. I will leave that to the next video to talk about. But I furnish the front porch pretty simply with some perfect patio stuff, and then I go on up to... I believe I do the master porch, patio, whatever you want to call it. Everyone says a different name for it, which I absolutely I love this. If you have a sim that's kind of like, it to me it feels kind of almost hippie-ish or like a really garden-centric sim. Even though those potted um, plant potters do get filled up with stuff, this is probably my favorite part, what I'm about to do here. I thought it was just such a cool and ingenious idea, and I, like, I'm obsessed with those planter things from uh, Movie Hangout stuff, like anything from Movie Hangout stuff I love, but, uh, yeah, and that bush, or whatever it is, like, it's like a bush tree thing, but I do spend a lot of time on this. I uh, lost my train of thought again. I'm doing that a lot today. I've had a lot of caffeine, but I'm losing my mind. But, yeah. My catchphrase, that's my new catchphrase, is but yeah. Anyways, um, don't forget, I will, do not have screenshots in this one. I will have screenshots when I have the last part of this, the second part, which... I will link at the end of this video, um, part two, it's coming in two weeks. Next week will be a, um, dine out build and it probably will, hopefully I'll get it done. If not, you'll see this one next week. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and commenting and liking and sharing and all that fun stuff. I hope you enjoyed this, my little labor of San Francisco love. Um, and I think, as of right now when I'm recording this, I'm at 200 subscribers possibly, and which is awesome. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great weekend, great day, whatever. And I will see you guys next week with another speed build. Bye.